Hello, Lazzy here, and today I've done myself a bit of a mischief. As you can see, we're back in the Australian outback. Oh, I died for an Enderman. So I forgot to sleep in a bed when I got back to my base. Aye, 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 classic noob right there, my goodness. So yeah, now I have spawned back out here in the Australian outback. So please, if you are enjoying, a like is always appreciated. And please, share the video so I can be found again. Oh, you know what? For that, I'm going to punish myself because that is unacceptable noob behavior. So you know what? Goodbye, shaders. Yeah. Yeah, no more shaders for me. <laughs> So all the download links in the description if you do want to check them out. So make sure you do download them. Anyway, the first one we will be checking out is a first person render. So I did do a first person render video the other day, except this one is made by a different creator and arguably a little bit better because it actually supports a whole lot more blocks and items, which you can hold in your hand. So as you can see, I do have it on holding these different blocks and items, which is really cool. And I really do like the concept of the first person render. It's just really cool. So make sure you do check it out. I do believe the creator will update it to support more items and stuff in the future. So make sure you do follow the creator so you can keep up to date with all this awesome stuff. So this next one is more of an extension because it is the end expansion so this is a beta so i do believe it will be updating in the near future so make sure you stay tuned for that if you have completed the game and you think the end's a little bit boring then this is really cool because it actually adds new biomes new mobs weapons and much more to it in the end which is really awesome so it does have the new biomes, it has some new structures which automatically generate which is really cool. Has two mobs, a custom crafting and some new weapons. So if you do want that little bit more, make sure you go ahead and explore this add-on because it is really cool and it is really fun to go ahead and explore all these new biomes and just muck around with it because it is pretty fun. So make sure you do have the experimental gameplay options on and the behavior pack and resource pack in order for this to work. So the next resource pack is Mobs Plus because it actually makes the mobs a whole lot better. So it does improve the animations, which is really cool. So as you can see, I will just show the gameplay. It has the mobs looking a little bit more realistic as they're just bending and walking towards you, which is really cool. So if you do think the original mob movement is a bit bland and a little bit boring, then I definitely recommend checking out this pack to spice up the mobs in your world. So the next one is some animated skins, which is really cool. So these are just a cosmetic thing. So I don't believe this works in multiplayer because when you do have a skin on, then everyone in the multiplayer server will just have that skin because it is just a resource pack. So this can be actually useful if you are doing some role playing and you need some custom skins because this is really cool because they literally animate, which is really cool to see in Minecraft. But for now, they are just a cosmetic for yourself, which is still really awesome. Moving on to the next one, which is Frost version 2. So this is a brand new snow biome overhaul, which is really cool. So I guess an expansion on the snow biome. So this is really awesome because it adds a bunch of new things to go ahead and explore in the frost snowy biomes. So you can get some new structures which randomly generate in the world. There are some new mobs. So there are some new items which you can obtain, which is really fun to go ahead and explore all these new cool things. Just like the end dimension add-on, there's probably too many things to list and go through in the video. So if you do want to download it, make sure you do check it out because it is a really unique add-on. This next add-on is probably the most helpful out of them all, if I'm being honest. So whenever you crouch, you die. That's it, game over. So make sure you don't crouch when you use this add-on because it is a bit of a challenge and you may need a crouch, but just think, if you do, you die. You may think this is not useful because you're literally dying when you crouch. However, it is a bit of a challenge. So if you can beat Minecraft with this add-on, let me know and you're an absolute legend. So moving on to the next one, which is a Java debug screen add-on. So I actually did do a video on this not too long ago. So I won't go ahead and just dive into this add-on because I've already done it before, but it did recently get updated. So if you do want to check it out, make sure you do check it out because it has been updated and it is really useful. So the next one is a better foliage texture pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I have done a video on this in the past as well, but it did recently get updated and it is really cool because it is a nice visual thing for Minecraft in general. It also has a bunch of other things, so it does actually enhance the, I guess, flowers and just the whole general foliage in Minecraft Pocket Edition. 
I definitely recommend checking out this one because it makes your game just feel a whole lot prettier and amazing. So make sure you do download this one. So moving on to the next one, which is a fixed invisible bow and crossbow glitch. So apparently if you go into the end dimensions with a enchanted crossbow or even a bow, apparently they come up invisible, which is a little bit weird. Honestly, not too sure if it has been fixed, but I do imagine if it hasn't been fixed, it definitely will be getting fixed soon. But in the meantime, download this resource pack to fix it. Moving on to the next one, which is a really useful resource pack for multiplayer and just servers in general. So this is a force coordinates resource pack. So you may be in a realm or a server or just something in general, which you can't actually control if you can turn on your coordinates or not. So this one actually forces it to show it, which is really cool. You can even change the location of the coordinates. So if you do want it in the top right there, you can actually do it, which is really cool. So this one is definitely useful for those who love to play in servers or just realms, which don't show coordinates. Anyway, moving on to the last pack, which is Monster Indicator. It recently got updated, so I thought, you know what? We're going to throw it in this video to make 11. So this is actually really useful because it literally shows you where the mobs are. So if you're at night time, you can't see a thing. Now you're going to see where mobs are going to come out of, so you don't randomly get surprised by a creeper. I'm not sure if every single mob is supported, but it does support a majority of the mobs, which is really cool to see. So if you do want to have a kind of mob indicator for your game, then make sure you do download this pack. But that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments which one is the most useful and which one will you use. Or just let me know in the comments which is your favorite in general. It doesn't have to be from this video. I'm just interested to know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I will see you in the next one. And peace.